Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am in Manchester. I actually arrived yesterday, but yesterday was a day. We were much later arriving than planned, but I did take some clips, so I will insert them now for you. So as I said, we were super late arriving. There had been a five car pile up on the M8. Miraculously, nobody was hurt overall the best thing here rather than being about the inconvenience to our trip but we were much later arriving so we arrived and just had to go straight for dinner we were going to the theatre afterwards so no time to really do very much else we went to the Peaky Blinders bar Lauren and I went there last year and I absolutely loved the theming etc when Lauren and I were there we just went in for a quick drink to get a feel for the place this was my first opportunity to go in and try the food now in terms of the atmosphere it was a Tuesday night and they had live music people were were ready to have an atmospheric night for your old grandma here who was trying to vlog and talk to you it was a little bit too loud when the music was playing but there was such a good atmosphere overall so not not really moaning but just not what I expected on a Tuesday evening. As we're in England where we get happy at our deals, unlike in Scotland thanks to our licensing laws, we have got two for £12 on these cocktails which we're taking advantage of. So we're starting off with two of these across the ponds. We're in the Peaky Blinders bar but this place across the road, Matt Hancock joining it. Oh, right. Yeah you just stop your cigarette. Okay the cigarette people have left so Across the road, Matt Hancock joining I'm a Celeb isn't a shock. The jungle is full of snakes. I'm quite good for that humour. Did I even show your cocktails? They arrived. Clearly I've decimated half of mine. My grand's got the saffron chicken, which is a sort of risotto, bed of risotto rice with saffron and something else in it. And I have got the steak pie with peaky gravy and peaky mash. I don't know what's particularly different about peaky gravy and peaky mash from normal gravy and mash, but I'm looking forward to it. I was defeated by the steak pie, I couldn't finish it, it was lovely. But obviously, you get safe, it's still a pretty simple. To be honest, I don't have any of these, I think that I would enjoy them. I'm leaning between the sticky toffee pudding and the banana one. For our second cocktail, we have ordered the Fighting in Eden obviously named after Jesse Eden who is my one of my favourite female characters. Esme is still my favourite even after season six which we just won't discuss but Esme, Holly, Jesse, they're my golden trio. So obviously I had to try this one. Love this building the last time Lauren and I came but we came down during the day so here it is with some really pretty lights and stuff around it at night. Love an old warehouse. Underwhelming. So this morning we have left the hotel we've come to the Arndale Centre so that's where I am just now. I got really excited outside because I saw this wolf thing listed on like the, the thing outside advertising that was here and I thought it was the wolf jewellery brand or not jewellery brand but the, the wolf jewellery box brand that make the beautiful jewellery boxes that I would very much enjoy. I'll insert a picture of one but it is a restaurant or Italian street food technically so 
not jewelry boxes sadly. I like this very sparkly ring for Christmas time. So I've seen a dress in m and that I really like, that's like silver and sequin. But now I'm seeing this one and I also very much enjoy it. Another contender in the sparkly dress rounds is uh, this one here in all of our bonus but I think the m and one looks like a nicer shape, like a similar shape to this one but a nicer shape. But the And Other Stories one may be more flattering being a wrap dress. That's so beautiful. I love these. I'm kind of looking for studs at the moment that I could just put in and leave in. My ears actually closed up during Covid. I had to re-pierce them, but I tend to react to anything that isn't real silver or gold. So I don't know if I could really wear these. For like, I'd like to get studs that I can just put in and forget about and keep in so that my ears don't close up again. And I don't know if these would really do the job, but they're very, very pretty. come back to these shoes again and again and I think my feet would be too wide for them but I think they're also kind of like the ultimate Christmas shoe so these are the three Gucci glitter lipsticks for their Christmas this year so it's Madge, Devotion and Janet Rust my favourite packaging the satin one with the Art Deco but it's in a pink this is the M&S dress I really like it I'm, I'm I've not tried it on or anything, but definitely interested.